The biggest surprise in a 12-step program is what we call a slip, that first relapse. It's when you think you've hit rock bottom and then realize what you're standing on is a trap door. Caleb's a brave colt, Jeremy. Reminds me of you. Jeremy, do you still want to tell us your story? Do you need a minute? Hi, my name is Jeremy and I'm an addict. Vaccines for the Richardson's mare and dressing that wound on the Miller Stallion, right? That's it. Yep. Of course, we could use your help, Jeremy. I don't know, Grandpa. Last time didn't work out so well. Well, you weren't at your best. So work takes focus. Why don't you come with us? I don't think he's interested. We gotta go. You can join us next time. These clients are all jerks anyway. Know-it-alls. With too much money. Jeremy's got a real gift with animals. The way he trained Caleb... But he can't train himself off drugs. Three whole months and he got kicked out of college. He's gonna be a hell of a good vet and you know it. Boy needs a second chance. And how many relapses has he had now? Not everyone gets it the first time. Man needs help to face his demons. Jeremy's not as strong as you are, Dad. One thing I've learned about forgiveness, son, is that it's hardest to give when it's needed the most. Hey, Caleb, Caleb, Simon says, rear, pup, 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 pup. You're such a show off. Donkey dust was the shit. Ain't nothing like going into a cave. You're a caterpillar now, Jeremy. <laughs> dude, that party was crazy, dude. <laughs> I know, right? You know what we gotta do now, don't you? Your old man's a horse doctor. He's got this shit in pure liquid form, bro. Ketamine, man. Special K, uncut. We, we cook this shit up. Cut it and sell it for stupid big money. I will hook you up. <laughs> this is so fat. You in? Yeah, you're in.
Open sesame. This way to paradise, Jeremy boy. Christmas. That better not be your dad. Shit. Did you close that gate? Sticking around for your dad to call the freaking cops! Drew! What's that? Etorphanol. Painkiller. Dad, I'm sorry. Everything's been Take so... This. Is he going to be okay? I'm going to make a couple of phone calls, check my diagnosis. I'll be in the house. Just watch him. Jeremy. Jeremy, wake up. There's no saving this horse. It's a severe compound fracture. Break where it is. No way. Even surgery and a pin. The amount of time you need to recover. He's done. But there is something you can do to fix him, right? You're not just killing him. The only humane thing to do is to put him down. I'm giving him 100 cc's of youth to saw. So just, just get your mind around that, why don't you? Should I call the police? Let them handle your problem? You have burned through every second chance I've given you, Jeremy, every time. through. I really thought you were over this crap. Dad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. For stealing ketamine. For doing this to, to Caleb. I really screwed up. I am so sorry. <laughs> I was keeping Caleb because I thought you'd clean up your act. Show me what we got to do to... to take care of Caleb.
when Grandpa was teaching me how to train Caleb, he told me the typical horse is scared all the time. Thinks monsters are out there hiding in the shadows. But the lead horse, he's the one horse that's not scared. So he walks way out ahead of the herd. All the other horses follow because they figure he'll see the monsters first. Follow him and you're safe. You should do this. Jeremy. You can do this. We'll do it together. I'll find the vein. I'm sorry, Caleb. You were always so brave. For some of us, even when we finally grow up and figure out who the monsters in the shadows really are, the shadows are still there. A horse named Caleb taught me to see something, something I could follow, something that's bigger than the shadows.